Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will show you how to connect an MRCT to a current transformer for testing. Let's get started. There are two versions of the MRCT units which are shown here. Units without a screen and units with an embedded screen. Each unit has an emergency stop. This button should only be used to stop the unit in case of emergency and not as part of the regular operation of the unit. High and low voltage outputs for CT testing are also provided. They all have a ground connection, a power connection, and a power switch. Using the, the grounding cable provided with these units, find a good grounding point and make a solid ground connection. A proper grounding is essential to obtaining good results. Remember that the ground terminal should be the first one to be connected and the last one to be disconnected. A solid ground connection is very important when it comes to testing current transformers. After we guarantee a proper ground connection, we can connect our power cord and turn the unit on. Alligator clips are provided with the unit, which can be used to connect to the secondary side of current transformers. Several types of spade locks are provided for connection to different relay and CT terminal blocks. Color-coded secondary connection cables are provided. Each lead terminal is color-coded and marked to indicate where they should be connected on the instrument. The color coding and markings make the connection diagrams very easy to follow. When it comes to testing with the MRCT, it is important to remember that most tests can be performed with a single connection diagram. For example, for the 5-tap CT depicted here, we can perform at the same time or without changing connections, uh, tests like winding resistance, ratio, insulation resistance, and saturation curve, and we can even perform a demagnetization procedure without ever having to change the connections on the MRCT. You should remember to always connect X1S together with X1S1 and X5S with X5S5. These leads should always be connected to the main tabs of the CT under test. Primary connection cables are also color-coded and can be easily identified on the connection diagrams provided with the instrument transformer management software provided with the instrument. Primary connection cables are provided with H1, H2 and shield connections. The shield is connected to ground to eliminate the effect of uh, electrical noise when testing on uh, high voltage substations. Primary side connection clamps are also provided. For a two-tap current transformer, connect the X1 and X5 terminals to the X1 and X2 terminals on the current transformer as well as the primary side terminals. In this case, we are doing a winding resistance test in which a current is injected into the secondary of the current transformer, a voltage is measured and the resistance is calculated as the ratio of the voltage and current. For a ratio test, a voltage is injected into the secondary of the CT and measured on the primary side and the ratio is calculated as the ratio between the voltage injected in the secondary and the voltage measured on the primary. For a 3-tap current transformer, connect the X1 and X5 terminals to the main tap, X1, X3, and the XT2 terminal to the second tap. Similar connections apply for a 4-tap current transformer. X1 and X5 should always be connected to the main tabs, 
x1 and x4 in this case, and the other terminals to the corresponding tabs on the current on the current transformer. A procedure that is sometimes necessary is the leads test or zeroing the leads. For this, short the secondary terminals, a DC current is injected into them, and the resulting voltage drop is measured, which allows us to calculate the resistance of the leads. To perform a burden test, remember to disconnect the current transformer from its load, since we will be testing only the impedance connected to the secondary terminals and not the secondary winding. A current will be injected in the load circuit and the impedance will be then calculated. For the self-diagnostic test, connect X1 and X1S to H1 and X5 and X5X S to H2. A ratio of 1 is expected since we are injecting the secondary voltage directly into the primary measurement leads. For a primary to secondary insulation test, voltage is applied between the primary and the secondary of the CT and the leakage current is measured. The resistance is then calculated as a ratio between the voltage and the current. For a uh, primary to ground insulation test, a voltage is applied to the primary of the CT, the leakage current is measured, and the resistance is calculated as the ratio of the voltage and the current. For a secondary to ground insulation test, the uh, voltage is applied to the secondary of the CT, the leakage current is measured, and the resistance is calculated using the same method. This concludes our video about connecting an MRCT to a current transformer for testing. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.